up, it's up, Dub Watch and the Tub. What's going on, my subscribers? Ace here, joined by Vsing HB. Yo, follow me on Twitch. On, on Elgato. True, he did get an Elgato. Screw watching Ace, come watch me. Oh, feels. Alright. <laughs> Alright, uh -huh. we're here for another episode of the Roundup Show. What missions do we have left in this little area? Because you said there was a couple left. Uh, if you go to where the Incineroar was, there should now be a Machamp. Oh, hi, right, friend. This is Macha Machaomon, the pro wrestler Machamp. He's been going through some hard times recently. Though, we want to hear about it? Sure. Machaomon was a real up and comer. He was a wrestler who was once uh, once in a century talent. Lately, though, he's kept losing to a crafty veteran pro wrestler in Sinroar. It looks like he started to lose his mojo. Machaomon! If only he had a Koba Berry. And he be able to hang in there against the hit of the acrobatics from Incineroar. I thought I had Cobra Berries. Uh huh, Mister. I have lots of Cobra Berries. I thought I did. Well, luckily I sent you one, which I told you to go <laughs> grab off the items. Uh huh. I just forget. <laughs> While you're grabbing the items, you can show off why I sent you. Okay. So VJ sent me some of the version exclusive stuff from the Moon game, and I forgot to grab the items off. So that's my bad. I hate Ace. <laughs> All right, where's my uh, the box? I think it's that one right there, right? All right, so the King's Rock, nice and celestial. I think this is the, one of the totem ones. Yeah, oh, that's so, a totem. So this is really freaking big. Oh yeah, I sent them all the very moon. Item. I, I sent them all the moon totems. Pretty wink. And uh, the Amelie. Which is VJ's computer's name. And then just the totems up here. Oh no, there's a lot more. Oh yeah. There's like this whole row, and then this whole row. <laughs> and you missed the Arequinid. That's, that's racist Arequinid. It has the metal coat. It's also a totem. Yeah, I gave Ace a bunch of random like, items dino? hard to get. I gave him a Dano because lol. Because <laughs> lol Dano. Did you give me two deep sea twos? I should have given you a deep sea tooth and a scale. Oh, uh, maybe that's what it was. I thought it's do two deep sea twos. All right, uh, Archon, who I don't like. I don't know why they had to do this man dirty and like give him defeatist. That's fucking rude. Like the Pokemon's not even that strong. Leave it alone. Dust stone from the nice basculin and blue stripe, which you can only get in moon apparently. Mm -hmm. Uh, I talked about the Kabuto, Papilio with the moonstone. Vita's favorite starter. It's actually terrible. <laughs> the like Vita's like Snoop Dogg baby, Young Drumpa. No. Well, oh, that no, it's Caleb I A. Oh, that's true. <laughs> A nice little Mora. That's the fossil in. These are the two fossils right here. And moon. Oh no, there, there, there's five fossils. You just can't count. Wait, really? Oh, uh, well, yeah, Archon. And that, and that. <laughs> <laughs> Welp. Well, like, I, I just forget there, like, because they're so, like, like, Leap and Kabuto are, like, really common ones now. Bro, you're rolling this sad again. What? You treat him dirty. Alola. I guaranteed you ignored him your entire LP. That's why he's so sad now. Maybe. It's a possibility. No, I listen to him sometimes. If he says anything, I say something. All right. Hey, look at that. That's an amazing power. Two Rotom Parkins. Yeah, the bargains are the best one, in my opinion. To be honest. All right. So anything else we need to do? Yes, give the man his berry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here, have a clover berry. Sure, you can have it. Macho! Alright. Here, let me give you something to say thanks. A bowl cup. Nice! Alright. Chip chip! Alright, now what do we do? Okay, remember you went and bought that protein? Yeah. Go drop it in the fountain in the middle. Oh, uh, this big fountain down here? 
Mm -hmm. This is such a specific thing you have to do that I don't know how anyone is supposed to find this without having the guide. Maybe that's the, the intent of having the guide. Wait, how do you get to the fountain again? Where's the... I don't know. That's it. It told me drop a protein into the fountain. Oh, there's a fountain. Okay. Kerplunk! Oops, you dropped the protein in the water. Is it gonna be a fucking buff ass? Wait, what the hell? It uh. just popped out. Ouch! This this hit me when I was cleaning the pond. Is it you, you dropped this protein? Yeah, sorry, it was me. Uh, yeah, sorry, hell, it was me. Hell, yeah. Be careful next time. <laughs> if I don't want to get my ass beat. Give me back my protein. I'll give you an iron as a reward for being an honest kid. See? That's such a specific thing. Interesting. What? Like you I'm have to actually have a protein? Shop. This thing? Oh no, the Malasada shop you said. Have you, have you done the Malasada shop event? I think so, where I talk to the lady who doesn't stop talking. And she gives you a Malasada? Yeah. Okay, then yeah, you done it. Yeah, that was fucking annoying. I just bashed A. Did you talk talk to the what the the Pokemon fan club president? Uh, he said that I needed to do something before like I could become a member. Then go see if you've done it. Where's the fan club? Right next to the Miles Center. Oh, uh, so Bro, the place that I asked to go before. Oh my God! Like, how do you not know this game backwards and inside out? All right, pa pardon me, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. Hello, friend. Are you taking photos with your favorite Pokemon of them? The more photos you take of the Pokemon at the Alolan Club, the more affection they will become to you. I can, in fact, I can see how affectionate your Pokemon are feeling towards you. Mm-hmm. Ah! Your Pokemon can still use more affection towards you than it is now. Becoming true friends with that Pokemon, and I'll recognize your proper... Okay, so... I, I'll take... Wait, wait, wait. What do, you, what do you have in your party? If you have your starter, it should... I have my starter. Move him to the front. Wait, does all he want... Wait, is it affection or friendship he's looking for? Affection. So I probably need to take like 20 billion pictures with it. No, that that's like the poke bean crap. Oh, is it? Yeah. If you had a rainbow bean, you could have done it immediately. Feels. BJ knows that I don't like to do the poke Pelago stuff. <laughs> we can do some poke Pelago stuff right now if you want. It's up to you. Let's see. How do I get to poke Pelago? It's on the next screen. There it is. All right, poke Pelago. Since we kind of need it, we can do some of this stuff right now. Then we can go back in one of the future episodes in the roundup, since we'll have beans. Glad to see you again. This is the Pokepelago. The uninhabited island exists solely in the delight of Pokemon. And you remember me, you call. You can call me Mohan. I'm in charge Mon. of keeping... Oh, Mon. Alright, whatever. I'm in charge of keeping Pokepelago running, and you are ace, right? Okay, now let's get started. The Pokemon that you deposit in your PC can freely come to the Pokepelago to have a bit of fun whenever they want. Right now, they, we only have one small aisle available for them to play on. But if you help me out, that won't be true for very long. Would you pick up the Poke Beans that have fallen to the ground on the island? I. Pokemon love Poke Beans. They are delicious and nutritious, and they can also sprout into Poke Bean stalks like the one in the middle of the island. Uh, the one you just picked up is a plain bean. There, okay. There's also pattern beans and even rainbow beans. I love hands-on learning, don't you agree? So why don't you give a beanstalk a good shake and see what happens? Hi. Yeah. Okay. Shake the beanstalk to drop pokey beans. Pick up the pokey beans to add it to your stores. Okay. Now that you've got it, see, isn't it better learning by doing? You can click the pokey beans in a day or so. If no new pokey beans come tumbling down, then wait a day and try again. Uh, put some pokey beans you collect into the pokey bean crate island, would you? They'll be handy for hungry Pokemon wandering around the island and eat any time. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. And then put some in here. Alright. Okay, I'm, I'm not reading what you say about this thing because I know how to put the beans in here. Wait, there's a raft. Oh, goodness. Okay. There's been my there's been my own private castle ever since a fateful day when I decided to turn these uninhabitable islands into resorts for them. I built this place myself and it's not too shabby if I dare say so myself. I have even I have everything I could ever need here to help keep the Pokeblog up and running. So Ace, I have a favor to ask a promising trainer like yourself. 
Pokepelagos only features one small island at the moment, as you've seen. If you if you were likened to it Pokemon, it would be a level one babe, just to hatch from its egg. So I'd like you and your Pokemon to put some effort into developing the islands here. Developing the isles here means basically breaking ground on new islands and improving the facilities on the islands so you've already have started on. We'll borrow the strength of your Pokemon in your boxes to do the work. Oh, and we'll need some plant beans, don't forget those. No one can work on an empty stomach. Okay, that's it for me now. But come by the raft hut anytime to see... Okay, so we'll develop some isles. I'm all on here. Okay. So let's see. Hello, friends. Shake your bean stuff. Oh, shake it again? I was going to put some stuff in the things. Okay. Alright, we'll put ten in there. Vehicle reversing. Huh? Uh, vehicle reversing. Oh, you said vehicle reversing? Uh huh. Because the car outside is doing stuff? I think it's like one of the delivery guys. Wow. What? Wow. What? Even with a stylus, you can't pick shit up. Well, the Minextra jumped in front of it. Alright. Got him. Alright. Shake again. Whoa. Look, our rainbow bean! Yeah, keep going until it won't, like, drop anymore after you collect them. That's how this place works. Why did that one make a weird noise? Uh, it's either a parent one or a rainbow one. Like, it makes a different noise. Ace is getting all the beans, man. I'm right. an expert in Pokeblog. I love this place. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan. It's kind of boring. It's not boring. It gives you a lot of good stuff. Like, you can farm, like, really rare items here. I guess. I have like seven rainbow beans now. Well, I have like 200, so come at me. <laughs> Soon. There's so many beans, bro. Well, yeah, you've never been here. <laughs> They've been stocked up. What if I have just as many as VJ? I'm the master. <laughs> what? You wanna develop? Oh, I'll develop in a second, I just gotta get all these friggin' beans. Well, if you'd actually played your game properly during your LP, it wouldn't be this, like, big backlog. Oh yeah, we did? Did you know that you don't have to actually have to click on them? You can just swipe your stylus along? I, I did know that. I just didn't- I don't have a stylus. Yeah, because we didn't choose his stylus because he's a dirty stylus muncher. What's wrong with that? That's bad! Why? You're the worst kind of people. You're the people, like, when people, like, buy, like, a used DS and they look at the stylus and it's all fucking chewed up. Yucky. Alright, so let's see. Develop aisles. So you help I me. Thank you. Thank you, and now that we have, s have that settled, okay then, there are five islands total that you can develop here on the Pokepelago. Each one will require you to have a different number of Pokemon in your boxes and plain beans in your coffers. Uh, check out what it says and you need to develop each aisle in the summary, okay? Okay then, if it's if that's all clear, just tell me which aisle you're, you'd like to develop next. Okay, so Island of a Beans Development Phase 2. I recommend focusing on the beans one first. Which one's that one? The this the, one? The beanstalk one. Oh, this one. Mm hmm Develop. Because you can't do anything space. without beans. Okay. <clears throat> uh so. so what do I need? Just fifteen Pokemon? Con confirm. Orders received. Then I'll get straight to work. Alright, yo, look how big that beanstalk is. The island renovations are complete. The beanstalk has grown larger, so you can probably get more Poke Beans from it uh, now. I bet there are more wild Pokemon come by enticed by its offerings. Okay, the Pokemon look quite eager. Keep working harder. Hello, you can probably upgrade friend. it again. Kill Bill brought you a Poke Bean. Aww, what a friend. Would you like to take a look closer? Sure. Hello, Kill Bill. 
This is this is VJ's friend. In case you guys didn't it know, it is. It won me an OU tournament. <laughs> it did. All right. I think it's all the ones that exclamation points. So let's uh, let's hit the the bean stock. It doesn't look like it's doing anything. All right. So develop aisle. Uh, we can do this one again. Mm -hmm. Hey. So that's the final thing, right? Oh uh, yeah, I think that's it maxed out now. Nice. All right. So there are no wild Pokemon visiting just yet. And I think the next best option to develop is the one that gets you the items. Which one is that so one? The mine one? Not that one. That one. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. I, re I vaguely remember these. All right. Ooh, there's an exclamation point. Hello, little friend. Okay. So basically, we can explore the cave, and they can send them on journeys to go places. I right, check if you can upgrade it again before you do that, though. Okay, I just want to, I just want my rainbow bean. Okay. All right. So develop aisle. Uh, so I can. All right. So this one's done, right? Ooh. No, there's one more you can do, but you won't have enough beans. Yo, Amelia brought me a pokey bean. <laughs> Emily. <laughs> Amelie brought me one. Look at look, and look, you might as well send them on a journey to find rare right. and exciting well, stuff. I, I just want to look at the nice thing that VJ brought me. Actually from Zach originally, but it's okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So let me see here. Let's pop some beans in there. You don't need me to pop some beans in there. I want to. They're friends. Oh, wait, they're not exploring yet, so I don't need to. Okay, hold on. All right, go exploring. Too bad. It looks like your Pokemon haven't uncovered any treasure so far. Oh, how do I make them go? Click on the sign. Of the sign? Okay. Uh, so hunting for odd shards, brilliant stones, interesting item hunting. So which one? Shards, Please. stones, or Please interesting stone. item? You said stones? Mm-hmm. All right. Because you can get like really rare evolution stones, like dawn, dusk, st sunstone, shiny stone. All right. Which are like... You can only get one in the game, so you really don't need to do that. It's a waste of beans. Because it's not like you're gonna come back in six hours and check on them. I I'm giving them I'm giving them ten beans. Okay. All right. Well, that's enough for now. All right. So let's leave the Pokeplago, and then we can give our Incineroar the 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 bean. The rainbow bee? Yeah, does that make him more affectionate towards us? I think so. Okay, so then it's what? Pokemon hey, Ago? Bro, bro, Pokemon bro Tom is sad again. Calm down. Alright. Yo, you're a terrible trainer. Shut up. <laughs> hello, hello, Blacephalon. How can I help you? <laughs> Look at him. He's dancing. Alright, so let's rotate. Switch. What is his affection, does it say? Uh, I think if I try and switch. Three. Alright, we'll feed him a rainbow bean. See what happens. Okay. Um, I scroll across. Click and drag. It, it's not letting me, it's like sticking the bean. Is it because you're like pressing down really hard to end dragging? Like flick it. I'm, I'm trying. Bro, it's not that hard. Uh, eh. Oh, you just hit the hole oh down. Okay. There you go, friend. Have a rainbow bean. Hooray! 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 Okay, so let's see the affection level. It's four. Give him another one. Another one. the hell? I hate this. I actually hate this. <laughs> Who made this so hard? Okay, there. Wait. No. I've never had issues, so I don't know why you're struggling. I... What? What? The... Maybe I just need to chew my stylus. Sure, I'll do that. <laughs> Alright. 
Okay. So is that is that enough affection for you, friend? And I would save the rest of those beans for when you want to get like Sylveon. Okay. Because that needs max affection. And it does. Well, let me just check it. Make sure we have five stars. So the, if it's four and a half, I'm gonna be pissed. Hey, look at him, like flexing on us. All right. So let's see here. He does have max affection and, ma and almost max fullness. Okay. So let's see what this dirty old man in this Pokemon club wants me to do. All right. Pardon me. Coming in, Max. Having this friend here. All right. Affectionate. It's the maximum. Impossible! Your Incineroar is just as affectionate towards you as my Meowth is towards me. If you love your Pokemon that much, then I must make, name you a member of the Pokemon Fan Club, which means I should also give you access to an exclusive heart-themed background, which only members can use for photos. You should head to the Alola Photo Club and once and snap some shots of your Pokemon. Uh... Can you make Rotom happy? Oh, yeah. I get depressed when Look, he's say. smiling. Only could you give him attention for once in your life. Shut up. All right, and now it's a berry. Hey, that's an amazing power. HP restores. Oh, they're kind of broken too. That, is, that actually sounds pretty broken. <laughs> All right, in the thrifty Mega Mart, which is what north? Yeah, you? it's just up here in the front. Not there, but over uh, here. I'm assuming you've spoken to the hypno. The hypno, yeah. Yeah, I paid him a lot of money. <laughs> and did you get the TM from him? No. What do you mean no? He didn't give me a TM. He's supposed to give you a TM. I don't know. I paid him a lot of money. He didn't give me nothing. I don't understand. Wait, is it the hypno outside then? Maybe. I don't know. This guy just like sisses at you. Share some love. And I gave him like I gave him one of everything. He's supposed to give you a TM. I gave him one of everything. He didn't do anything to me. He just makes noises at me. Give him a grand. I did. Wait, what? You dirty... No, 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 I did this in an episode. You guys can go back and watch it. I fucking did that. <laughs> and this boy just hissed at me. <laughs> you piece of poop. Wow, sir, right. you're really giving this me this. It looks like a hypno, but it's actually a person wearing a costume. Look at you, big spender. I'd figure someday someone would give me money if only I pretended to be a Pokemon. But I've had no luck until now. That's it. You're the first big donor I've had. A shiny example of humanity. I'm so touched that I've got this. I'll pay you back here. Take this. Rest. Okay. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. I want you to know I gave this man, like, all the money that, like, like that were options. Man... Go talk to the don't leave. You're always so quick. Go what? talk to the Drifloon. Drifloon. I thought I did. Didn't they give me like a lemonade or something? Oh, you did that one. I think so. Foom foom. Yeah. Feels. <laughs> Feels. I swear I talked to him and I gave him so much money. I I gave him one grand like three times. I mean, while we're here, you want to buy anything? Cause you have the discount thing. Um. Oh, oh wait, yeah. This. Don't I need to battle this guy? No, they, or not read it. Just spam it. Oh, okay. Sorry, he's he's an old EV user, and I work here to prepare me for the most grand trial of all, old age and retirement. But never mind all that. Look, there's been something I've been, uh, I'd been i like to ask to be able to a young trainer to, like you to do for me. Back in my heyday, there were eight old trainers I was always trying to beat. They all use Pokemon that evolved from Eevee. How would you like to take them on? If you say that Cage Toro sent you, I'm sure they'll all agree to battle you. If you can beat them all for me, I have something for you. It'd be worth it. So just give, uh, just ask me if you want to know more about any of them. Okay. Don't bother. I have the locations. <laughs> we ain't okay. gonna try and sit here and find them. Like it'll take like an hour to do. I remember. <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if you remember VJ, but we did that. And uh, we did, but we did it legit last time. 
Oh, I can still do it legit, and then if I don't know where they are, no, you but can... let, let, no, let's not. We're not trying to waste time. Okay, welcome to the Thrifty Mega Mart. Where are the sales are explosive? What would you like? Bye. Uh, I don't know if well, I want any of these. You can up on Pokeballs. I don't know. Because you only have five left. Like regular Pokeballs? Yeah, like they can come in handy. All right, hold on. Meh. Okay. Especially when you need to catch like trade fodder and stuff. Yeah. Which you do need to do at some point. But strange souvenir. Do you not have one? No. Good that I. Just... Okay, I want you to know <laughs> that was one of the side quests that I didn't write down because it's like you do it without fail as you play the game. I bought one. I didn't realize you didn't get one. I bought one. Because there's someone that gives you one. Oh. Well. <laughs> Alright. I don't think I need to buy anything. Let's dip. Alright. So where are we going? We can go get the pretty wing guy. Uh, it's back over this way. Peniola Ranch. You can fly there, I think. I think it's faster to walk. No, you'd be there by now. Fine. Oh, I need to know why. What buttons to press. Alright, there we go. Um, this one. But he wasn't there the last time. I think if you, like, exit and enter the Pokemon Center, like, it resets it or something. Like, if you just keep going in and out, there's a chance he'll just appear. That's what I've heard. Okay. Cause like after that one time he just left and never came back. No no, he does he does come back. It's just like a random thing. Okay. Well Tell us about our next mission. Oh there he is. There he is. Hi. Boy, do you have a big mouse on handy? Look yeah, actually I do. I was saving that for how, but I'll take five G's for it. Now I can finally finish my experiment to test which is bigger, a big moss otter or a big nugget. Okay, so does he come back if I keep doing that? Um, I don't know if it's a one-time thing or if it's one for each item he asks for. Okay. Well, I'm actually not sure about that. So what we'll find out, so tell us about the next mission that we need to go on so that like, I'll do this like maybe like 10 more times and if he doesn't come then we'll just assume it's one well, per day. It might actually be once per day. Well, but, um, okay, we'll find out in a second because I'll go in like five or six times, and if he's not there, then it's one per day. On the Pokemon Cent or in the Pokemon Center, on Route Five, there is a NPC that requests to see a Carcilla. Have you shown them a Carcilla? I'm not 100% sure to be honest. All right, I'll go in once more, and I'll come back out. And if he's not there, then we'll just assume it's once per day, and we'll go back there. Okay, he's not there, so I'm assuming it's once per day. Okay, so that's over by Lana's trial. So, route five. Yeah, that's what Route 5 is. Um, so that's Route 8. Like, the, the map looks weird from above. I, like, remember it by walking it. Okay, there we go. It's below Route 8. Alrighty, then. Um... Wait, how do I, how do you get this stupid item? What do you mean? There's like one random around. item there that I didn't know how to get to. You just walk around. That little diglet. Why does diglet be faster than me? Probably. All right. So th this one right up here. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. Yeah, you just walk around. Where? Up there. Is it really? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what, what's so hard about that? I don't know. Okay. Hello, little man. So, wait, you just need to go to that Pokemon Center, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I think I'm gonna sneeze, but I'm trying to hold it. 
Hold. Hold. Alright. And I assume it's the guy sitting over here in the seat, right? This lady? Oh no, it's the... This guy. You've got the Corsola, then show me your Pokedex. So, there it is. Corsola's coral branches are short because Marini attacked Corsola. I believe that it doesn't cause any pain to the Corsola, but wow, nature is harsh. Thank you, but here you've been a great help. Here, for your assistance. Hey, three grand? Nice, nice, nice. You've been a great help with my research. Now I should be able to make some progress. All right. Did it. What next? Did you show the Gumi to the people in the Aether van on Route 8? Oh, uh, no. Because I just recently got that, so there's no way I could have done that already. Oh, yeah. You did only get a Gumi now. Yeah. To Route 8 we go. All right. Run! I'm running! Heh, 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 heh. Alright, almost there. Almost there. I see the thing on the map. It's right here. Oh! Howdy again, Chorus! You there! Do you know the Pokemon called Genesect? I do! Then I have no choice but to admit to you that you are all I expect you to be. The cannon's abilities have been activated using the certain drives created by the scientists in the P2 laboratory. I think you might be able to use them as they should be used. Oh, thank you. The douse drive. The shock drive. Just random cores popping up from another dimension. The burn drive. So this isn't even our chorus, it's just a random chorus from another dimension. The chill drive. Simply believing in your Pokemon will not guarantee that you can do everything you want, but there are many things that guarantee to fail if you don't believe in them. It is the trust between the trainer and their Pokemon alone that can overcome those hurdles. You there, you should be able to... Uh, you should know that there is a battle facility on Pony Island called the Battle Tree. I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of trainers and Pokemon I encounter there. Alright. I was you? fully expecting Rotom to be sad. He's not sad. Howdy, friend. You got a Gumi, then show me your Pokedex. I see. Because his body is mostly water, it appears only during the rain, so it won't dry out. The biology of Gumi is one that we hadn't yet discovered in our own research. That is just the level of detail that I knew we could expect from the Pokedex. Thank you very much. Here is your pay. Five Gs! Let's go. Thank you for your help with our research. I think we'll be able to have a better understanding of Gumi thanks to this. All right, and I'm assuming, I'm assuming you showed the kid the monkey outside. Yeah, I did. I didn't write that one down. I okay. did. That, remember that was the episode when I <clears throat> uh, accidentally like put the wrong move yeah, on yeah, my yeah. thing, and yeah, I fucked up. All right, all right. Fly to Koni Koni. I think everything left on this island is in that city, other than the EV guy. Uh, fly to Koni Koni City. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you battle the guy that's like, I want to ask this girl Yes, I did. Out, I did I do that do one. Z -move I, yeah, but I obliterated his life and he felt bad. Yeah, he had a clam curl. Yeah. I think I had oh, Hydro okay. Pump, though. It was kind of wild. He was right here. Yeah. Did you help the, the hairstylist up north? Uh, the hairstylist? I don't think so. It doesn't sound familiar. Shoot, shoot. Also, how do I get to right this here. thing to get that sticker? You have to go through the Diglett cave slash tunnel. Oh, is there a way to get there? Mm-hmm. Okay. Wait, where, where, where are you going? I don't know. said to help the hairstylist. Where's the hairstylist? I told you, up north! This lady? Yeah. I feel like and I talked to her before. Sad, by the way. Ah! I can't just wait. Please show me the luscious locks. Oh, I need Doug Trio. R Rotom is sad. Oh, Stop wait. neglecting him. <laughs> He's sad. Feels bad, man. You're a bad trainer. Man. Oh, my bad trainer! He gets sad every five minutes. You must be horrible to him. What, what, like, what do you, what do you need to do to make him happy? <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah, Roto Prize money kind of clean though. All right. So I need, I need a Dugtrio. My party apparently. I see. An Alolan Dugtrio. Do I even have an Alolan Dugtrio? I am pretty sure you do. Um. Um. Um, um. 
I see a diglet. Do you not have a dog trio? I might not. Where does one catch one of these? I s you better have one because I asked if you had one during your stream. And you oh, yeah, it's right there. there. Lol. <laughs> We're just getting mad. Sorry, bro. All right. Why are you getting... I'm going to be sad. No, he's fine. See? <laughs> he just assumes that he's like a sad guy. Hello. Oh, look at the fantisto condition his hair is in. Not even a single split end in sight. I never such imagined a thing a duck trio with hair. Huh? What do you tell me? It's not hair. You're telling me it's whiskers. And it's called a regional variant. So this is the unique form to Alola. Carré. Well, I am muy contento now. I'm totally full of thanks for you. I'll give you one of my precious treasures, and thank you for your hard work. Muchas gracias. Oh, a dire hit. So basically something I can sell. Now I'm off to one of those fancy follow cold friends for myself. I hope you'll come check it out too when I do. Oh. Oh, did she just do like the hair flip? Okay. In the Pokemon Center, there should be a guy that wants to see a not to. A Natu? I do have a Natu, I think. A Natu. You doesn't need to be in your party. Okay. I think I do have a Natu, though. I'm just trading. Uh, I, again, you better have. Because you said you had one during the stream. Okay. I was, I'm pretty sure I have one because I'm like, I remember. Well, like, it's been a while since the streams. So it's not like I looked at my box recently. Let's see if I had a Natu. Okay. This guy over here with glasses. I'm assuming so. Maybe not. Uh, this guy. Maybe I already did it. Maybe. Okay, because there's... Oh, wait. That guy over there. You caught a Natsu? Then I'll have a look at your decks. So that's it. They can't fly, but they can jump really high. There must be a reason why they only appear in the warning, too. I guess there are things we can't learn from the Aether Foundation data alone. I appreciate your cooperation here. This is for you. Five Gs. Let's go. Thanks, we'll know more about not to. Okay, cool. If you leave and go back north, the hairstylist should be back. Okay, let's do it. Howdy, 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 howdy. Does she want a battle? Probably. Nah. Hold on. Nah. Let me uh, swap Pokemon to Frieza. Frieza? Yeah. Alright. Is she not there? She doesn't look there. She's right there. Oh. Howdy, Lee. Oh, hey, 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 you're that trial goer. I managed to meet my marvelous ma manded mate of my own after our last meeting. It's all thanks to you, so thank you. But you know, I, if we're feeling completely honest, I do have one other tiny, teeny problem. My bemained beauty just doesn't seem to be very affectionate towards me. I tried giving a poke beans and petting it, but what am I doing wrong? Dutrio seems to be staring at your hair. The trio is wriggling furiously for some reason. Duck Trio just won't stop. Calm down, Duck Trio. What's gotten into you all of a sudden? Oh, but could it really be? This just has to be it. My precious pretty has got to be. It's undeniably my baby is heavily attached to the beautiful honey blonde hair like yours. I'm sorry. I've caused so much trouble. Here, take this. It's my favorite product. Soft sand. It just likes my blonde hair, apparently. So this seems yeah. it was very affectionate to me, was simply because it likes blonde. Maybe it's time I change my look anyway. Yeah, if you don't have naturally blonde hair on your character, you have to dye your hair to finish that quest. That's fucking rude. Yeah. So that's why my character has blonde hair. I just never changed it back. All right, Nintendo. I see how it is. All right, go in Olivia's shop. Um, Let's scoop up these fossils. It's the one with this the one? sickle. Mm -hmm. That's not a sickle, that's a hammer. It's a sickle. That, 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 that's a hammer. It's a sickle. That, that, that is a hammer. It's a sickle. That's a hammer. You see the pointy side? Sickle. <laughs> it's a hammer! You see the stick <laughs> that goes up through the middle? That's a hammer! Alright, sickles have sticks. Yes, at the end. Not at the, not at the midpoint. Because you don't use the backside <sighs> of, a, of a 
sickle. Who do I talk to? The the, the the old lady, I think. Alright. Doesn't she do something like once per day? No, you have to buy one of each. Uh, I know, but which one? You're buying them all! I think I bought one. Oh my god. Hold on. I'm pretty sure I bought one of them. Which bag would they be in? I have no idea. Feels. I feel like it would be in this plate, if anything. I'm looking. Why would you only buy one? I don't know. Wait, I thought I saw it. Maybe not, okay. Maybe I didn't buy any, alright. Fine. Okay. I mean, I think she'd prompt you anyway. Like, oh, you already have one. Okay. I, f I swear I bought one of these. Also, if you have a Deonce, you can get the Deonce -ite in here. Oh, really? That's kind of cool. Mm hmm. Only one person, only one per customer that's set in stone. So, what do you want to buy? Uh. Okay. Well, if I get to one of the ones I've already bought, and then it'll tell me. Okay. Cover. Dan. Helix. Helix. Dan. What if I bought the other one? What if I bought the dome fossil already? You you can. Oh. Uh, That's yeah. yeah. Feels. That's why I gave you a kaboom. That's right. The claw fossil. The claw. I'm trying to remember if you can go upstairs and do a thing with Olivia. I feel like there is something you can do with her. Alright, we'll go upstairs in a second after we do this. It, wa it wasn't in the guide, but I feel like she is up there. Okay. Um, maybe I'm tripping. Alright, we got all the fossils. Okay. Okay, I'm just making sure there wasn't any hidden items in those baskets. Hello, Olivia. I may be the island kahuna, but I'm also just a regular woman, you know. That's it, it seems. Ooh, a sticker. Yeah, maybe. That's what it was. Aha! A sticker. Alright. I think that's a good point to end off this episode, so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button down below if you guys did enjoy it. And is there any other missions that we need to do in this area? Mm-hmm. Okay. So we have a couple more missions that we'll be finishing in the next episode, and I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll be done with uh, Akala after those. We'll be done with Akala once we do all the EV stuff. All the EV stuff? Aye. All right. There's, there's a few more things, but then the EV stuff. Okie doke. Well, either way, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.